What did I just read? Hi friends, this is like two seconds after I filmed the last clip, but I really need to talk about this. I just wanted to leave off what a clip anger because maybe that'll get you here. So hi, how we doing? It's vlog number two. What was this book? Like, okay, so I started this yesterday and I finished it today. It was very easy to read. It's only about 200 pages. Actually, it's like 210. So I read this for the Fuel Reactor Part 2, which was read a book under 250 pages. So I don't really know what I'm even going to rate this right now. Probably maybe a three, two and a half. I don't know. Definitely not over a three. I don't know if it was just average or what. Um, Obviously, it was quick to read. I got through it in two days. Uh, it was very, like, philosophical, kind of, and it had a lot of, like, questions about life, and there definitely was, like, a good 40 pages of really good intensity that you were feeling, and that was good. I definitely was kept, like, engaged throughout the, uh, story, but that ending, like, I get it. But, like, I get what happened, but I'm still so confused. Like, I don't know if it just went over my head. If I'm trying to look into it too far, I don't know. If you've read this book, can we please have a discussion? Because I don't, I don't understand what I'm supposed to be thinking. I think I'm going to give it a three. Because I was engaged. I read it very quickly. I, there were really good emotions for an actual like intensity like I was reading this and there was a creek outside and Stormy started barking and I literally like had a heart attack because I was like really I felt really tense and so I really appreciated that and again it was fast paced and like I am very interested to kind of maybe see the show or movie that this it made um but the ending kind of just made me go WTF and so that definitely like brought it down so I think I'm gonna go ahead and give this a three and I'm glad that I read it I had been given it for like I had been recommended it by the bookstore person and so I bought it and it was engaging and quick to read but definitely not my favorite thriller definitely had some parts that I didn't like and so I'm going to give it a three. Next I believe my part three of Fueling the Reactor is to read a book set in the past so I'll probably be reading a historical fiction that I had picked out for that prompt but I am about to be getting ready to go on a cat rescue mission which I'm either going to be inserting some stuff here or it will have its own vlog, depending on how much footage I'm able to get. So I'm very excited for that. I do need to go clean out my car and I need to get gas because I had to drive to Clarion yesterday. If you saw my other vlog, I had to take a kitty to the vet and so I used a lot of gas. So I need to do that and again, clean out my car so I can fit tons of carriers in there as there are going to be 20 cats that need rescued. So that's what's up. I hope you guys are ready for Part number two of the Read Among Us vlog. I'm very excited and hopefully we get some more good books read. I am on a roll this month. It is only the 15th and I've read five freaking books. I am proud of myself, okay? I'm proud of myself. So I will see you all in the next clip. Hopefully we will start another book today. If not, I will start another book tomorrow. So I will see you all then and hopefully I have lots to talk about later. Nope, buddy, that's not for you, but okay. Did you get her? My, my cat has a... My
think I've ever seen a long haired man. Happy Saturday, friends. Today, I woke up late. It's fine though. I purposely didn't set an alarm so I could get some sleep in as, you know, I think that it's good to sleep. I just made myself some coffee with my book mug that I love and I am kind of just planning out what I want to get done today. Zach is working two hours overtime today so he's not going to be back till about dinner time. So I have, a, I have a lot of time to get things done but I don't know what I want to get done is the problem. Uh, there are two things, three things that I want to do for sure. I want to edit the first part of this vlog because I finished that and I need to edit it. Uh, second, I want to read 100 pages of the next book I'm reading, which is to Fuel Reactor Part 3, which is Read Ashes in Snow because it is set in the past. Uh, this is about a 330 page book. It looks a lot thicker, but it is not. And so if I read 100 pages of that today, I will be close to a third of the way through. And then the other thing I need to do is work on some Etsy orders because I I sent some out yesterday morning, but between then and now I've gotten probably three or four more orders. So I need to at least print them all out and get them ready to ship out on Monday. So that is what's on my agenda. And I'm also gonna explain a little bit more about the cat rescue situation. Like I mentioned, I was going to make a separate vlog for it, but I don't think I got enough footage, so I'm just gonna insert it. Or you should have already seen it, actually. <laughs> and then I will, uh, once I'm like done eating and everything and ready to sit down, I will go ahead and like give you a little bit more information about that because I didn't really tell you much. And so, yeah, that's the plan. So I will see you then. And I'm gonna just drink coffee, eat some food, and decide what I'm going to do first. I realized I've barely updated you and I'm already in my pajamas, so I'm gonna make this very quick as I might finish this tonight. I have gotten to page 230 something, I think. Eh. 233, and I believe this version is 230 or 330 some pages, so I only have about like 100 pages left. And this is a very quick to read book. Honestly, very hard-hitting, obviously, but I'm really enjoying it so far. So the next time you see me, I'll probably just be telling you my thoughts on it because I am flying through this. So, yeah. Sorry I haven't really been updating you, but I'm trying my best, and that's why I'm updating you now. So next time you see me, I'll probably be telling you my thoughts on it as I finish it. I feel like it's been a minute since I updated you. So we're gonna do that today. <laughs> but first, I need coffee and food because I'm hungry and I'm tired. So I'm gonna get that together and then I'll sit down and actually update you guys with my, what's been going on reading-wise. Wow, the lighting in here is not that great. Whoops. But I have finished my breakfast and my coffee. Still not feeling great, but we're here and we're gonna make it work. So. Last I left off, I think I was saying that I would finish my Easter <gasps> dog. I would finish my current read, which was Ashes in the Snow by Ruta Sepetes. And I did. I finished it not long after, well, within like an hour after I had made that clip. So I did finish it. And I believe I'm going to be giving it a four out of five stars. It was obviously very powerful, and I'd never really read into more about like Stalin's dictatorship and what he did to people of places like Liberia. Did I say that right? Probably not. Uh, Lithuania is the one I meant. My bad. Um, so I thought it, it was really good. 
Um, I'm giving it a four instead of like a five because for one, I didn't feel like it's gonna be a favorite historical fiction novel for me. And I, I thought it was hard hitting, but like I didn't cry or anything. Like I felt for the character, but not overly so. And usually with historical fiction, like I have to have a very strong connection with the character to give it a higher rating or something has like really shocking or something has happened. So I think that's why I'm going to give it a four. Obviously with historical fictions for me, like especially ones that are hard hitting like this, I don't want to read them low because they're hard hitting. Like obviously they're talking about really difficult topics and as long as the writing style is like good and it's not like a bad book to read, I'm not, I don't think, I'm going to be rating many historical fictions lowly. So that is what I'm deciding on. That is my fifth book for the Among Us Readathon and so I only have one left to read which is Girls of Paper and Fire. So I actually did not read anything yesterday. I did not necessarily intend to but I did not feel like reading so I gave myself a pass and that's fine. I think I've only had one other day this month that I haven't read so I'm doing really good and so that one and then I'm getting a pre-order hopefully today or tomorrow that will be the other book I'm planning to read this month not for the Among Us readathon but I'm planning to read so that is what's on the agenda and I believe I have one more thing I need to clarify about uh the cat rescue stuff I had mentioned a while ago that I was going to explain a little bit more about it and I didn't. So very quickly, the situation was that a woman who had these cats, there were 19 of them, had passed away. And so her ex-husband was currently caring for them, but obviously um, she lived in a rental property where the cats had an outside enclosure. Um, and so we had to get them out of there because the rental owner didn't want them there and the ex-husband couldn't take them. And so, um, the police department actually reached out to both Paws, where I volunteer, and another uh, rescue in the area. And the other rescue agreed to take three of them. And so we ended up taking 16 cats. Um, my friend Alicia and I, which you saw in the video, uh, we went and got them. It obviously didn't take us, or didn't take us very long, luckily. Uh, I didn't get very much footage of the actual rescuing because I was doing a lot of the grabbing because a lot of the cats were very scared. And I, I've i done a lot of feral cat work, so it was way easier for me to go in there and grab them than the uh, man or Alicia because they haven't had as much experience with that. Not that I'm sure they've had some, but I definitely have grabbed my fair share of not friendly cats with my hands. So I was doing a lot of that but we got them all to a temporary housing place because we have to make sure they're all healthy and have their vaccines up to date and everything before we decide to take them to the shelter. Um, a lot or about five or six of them are definitely warming up very well and are happy. There's still some that are pretty scared, but we did end up actually having to put one down because he had some blood clots in his back legs and he was unable to walk and uh, Sharon, who has the cats at her house right now because she's a very kind lady, uh, took him to a vet whenever she found that out and they told her that that would probably be the best option for him. So we're actually down to 15 kitties right now. Some of them, might, they, they might be pretty old. Uh, Sharon thinks that some of them are at least seven or eight years old. So yeah, today she asked me to go and help her rearrange them again so you might see some more of the precious little kitties and I'm very excited to meet or go see the Torty Manx that is very friendly but that yeah that is the update on reading and also the cat rescue stuff in case you're curious I know I'm a book channel but I am very much into rescuing and honestly I cannot wait to rent another house or buy a house and be able to rescue kittens again or foster for paws because I miss it. I miss being able to help in that capacity because I think that I am pretty good at, at helping feral cats get nicer and doing stuff with mothers and kittens. That's kind of what I did for five, six years. So 
yeah, I'm just very excited, but I do what I can now, and what I do is what I do. So, that's been me updating you guys. Sorry, I'm itching my arm. Uh, next on the list is to read Girls of Paper and Fire, and yeah, not a lot of exciting things are going on. I should be approved to start substituting as of yesterday, so hopefully I'll be able to start that very soon. I do have appointments today and tomorrow one for stormy and one for me uh so hopefully i can maybe start this week or next week that's the plan so i'm gonna go ahead and go and i don't know what i'm doing today until stormy's appointment i feel like i have a lot to do but i don't know so yeah. i will see you guys later with more updates with reading stuff and other stuff <sighs> when i get around to it I'm still recording. Whoops. Uh, hi. <laughs> My pre-order is here and it is so pretty. It's about a 400 page book so it's not that thick. I was worried it's gonna end up being really thick but no it's probably like an average fantasy. Again so pretty. I am so excited. This is my first ever pre-order guys. Like I'm very excited. It's just it's really cool to support an author and pre-order their book so I'm as long as I'm in a financial situation to do so I'm planning to pre-order a debut every month this year to support new authors and you know give them that give them that recognition they deserve so this month we have Hollow Smoke by H.M. Long as my debut novel and this will probably be the last book I read this month but if I get through it very quickly then I might pick up another book but like like we all know, I have to read Girls of Paper and Fire first, which I've just been sitting here not picking up because I am not having a great day. So who knows if I'm going to read any of that today, but as of right now, I have not started it. I will eventually, I just haven't yet. But yeah, book came in the mail, very excited. Good morning guys. It is Thursday at like 6.30 a.m. This is the earliest I've been up in a while, not gonna lie. I have my first sub job today. <gasps> I'm actually freaking out because I am so nervous about it. But one, I just need to do it and get experience and start. Two, I need money <laughs> and Three, I took a uh, job today for a teacher I had had. So I'm hoping like maybe because it's my first day and if something like I mess up something a little bit, it'll be okay, I'm hoping. Obviously I'm going to go in a little early to the office and be like, hey, what do I need to do? And <laughs> hopefully they explain a little bit about like the important things like attendance and if I have like a duty I have to do as a sub. Um, so yeah, that's that's what's gonna happen. We shall see what how it goes because uh, I'm nervous. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm obviously gonna survive, but oh boy, I'm just scared. But luckily, if today goes well, and if I get a job tomorrow, I have one on Monday and I will be prepared. Hi! <laughs> so I'm gonna go and stress a little bit more and I guess pet Stormy. And then maybe I'll update you guys later. I'm also taking my book, so hopefully I'll be able to read some today, but if not during school, hopefully later tonight. I literally like don't care about flattering angles in the morning apparently, because we're, we're here. 
So, yesterday was my first day on the job. Uh, it was very exhausting, I'm not gonna lie. But today I only have a half day because of the way the school has been working. They have half days on Fridays, so that is actually gonna be pretty good. I feel like I'm gonna need a nap. <laughs> I slept decently last night, but I'm already tired, so I need to make coffee to go with me today. But reading wise, I am only 60 pages away from being finished with Girls of Paper and Fire, so I definitely think I will have that to talk to you guys about when I get home, because most likely I'm just going to finish it today. I feel like I'm going to have time to finish it, and... I was thinking about taking my computer today, but since it's a half day, I'm just not going to and focus on reading again today. So yeah, that's the plan and I am expecting to come back today and throw some laundry in, but hopefully also be able to talk about my thoughts on that and then that's all my tasks done. That's all of my black crewmate tasks done. So I might even be wrapping up this vlog. I feel like this ending has been very anticlimactic because I've been busy, but at least we're talking about books. And you got some cute kitty content in the beginning, so, I mean, there was something here. So, I just got done finishing my breakfast, so I'm going to, I don't, I actually don't know what I'm going to do. I do need to brush my teeth, I do need to make myself coffee to go and find some socks so all of that fits in the category of what i'm gonna do next so i will be back later to update you guys after when i get back from work hey guys it is sunday night and i am almost done editing my vlog but i realized i didn't ever update you guys with my final thoughts on girls of paper and fire so we are here to do that so I finished this on Friday at school and I ended up giving it a 4 out of 5 stars. I thought that it was a really interesting story, very unique. I liked the representation in the book and the world building. I did think that the relationship between Ren and Lee Lei was kind of like not developed very well. Like they didn't really show of them connecting before they were attracted to or like before they were an item uh, that might be a little spoilery sorry but that was like my biggest issue with it and I didn't really like connect with it to the point where I really want to read the next book so it obviously wasn't a favorite but I did appreciate what it was and I'm really glad that I read it so I am giving it four out of five stars and I would still recommend, especially if you are a fantasy lover who is looking for a female-female romance, this one is really good. So I'm not going to go over the other tasks that I did or the books that I read because I will be posting a wrap-up at the end of the month. So if you forget what I read or want to hear a little bit more about my thoughts on all the other books I read, make sure to check that out at the end of the month. But yeah, I have finished all of my tasks for the Among Us Readathon and I'm very happy. So. I am going to go finish cooking, if you can hear the sizzling, and the next time you see me will be in another video. So thank you guys so, so much for tuning in to my vlogs. I hope you had a fun time, even though towards the end it was mostly just me talking very quickly, but I really appreciate you all stopping in. So thank you again, and if you are also doing this readathon, I hope you also exceed. So see you all in my next video. Bye!